talk to me about you got this album coming. Yeah. Now, this is real talk. Me and you on the phone all the time. We talk yeah, about this. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we're, we're, we're at a state where, like, hip-hop's a little funny. Right. I'm not saying that it, it's not home. It's just it's very commercial. It's pop. It's, right. And we're all at fault. Right. Me, the radio stations. The, right. MTVs, the BETs, right. all of us. We're right. all guilty. Right. A great lyricist like yourself and party animal, the buffoonery rapper, you know, <laughs> the street colonel hustler. <laughs> You're coming with your with your album, Bless. What happens in, in, in the state of hip hop when everything is ringtoneness and uh, dance that and snap your finger this? Like, what happens, man? Do, do you ever get afraid? Do you ever feel like, Yo, what the fuck? I'm making great music. Why doesn't you know? Why doesn't the people feel like I, how I feel? Right. Or how I, like a funk master flex feels? Because right. real talk. I mean, we came up with you, so we know what it is. Right. But why doesn't some of the younger kids maybe? Or I, I mean, I don't know. Speak on it. Just tell me how you feel about that. Because I, sometimes I feel like I'm lost. Right. And I'm a DJ, and right. I'm breaking records every day. Right. I think me personally, I just feel like, you know. Every generation is gonna need the opportunity to express what they feel belongs to them. I didn't wanna do what my parents was doing. True. I feel like what I did needed to be mine's. Right. If it belonged to what, if my parents thought what I was doing was cool, then what I was doing wasn't the was, shit. Wasn't cool. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't right. So ultimately, the generation now, you know, they they, they trying to figure out what, what, what the look for their their generation and their time of individual needs to be. And I ain't mad at that because that contributes to the growth process. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes in the exploration process, motherfucker might go a route that ain't the right route in trying to figure it out. You might go make a left turn, make a right turn, and then you reach a detour sign where you know that, nigga, you hit a dead end, nigga. Make a U-turn, go back the other way, find the right motherfucking course to get on. Exactly. And, and I feel that's what we, we're dealing with. Like, we're in a renaissance time frame where just the now generation is trying to figure out where do, we, where do they go from, from where we left it off at. Right. You know what I'm saying? And in the process of them trying to figure it out, sometimes they need to be reminded by some of the golden era niggas yes. where they need to go. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Excuse me. So with that being said, right, when, when, I, when I do my music, I do my music with not trying to cater to what they're doing because you can't I, do what they're doing. I, yeah, I, I gotta do what I know how to exactly. do best, right? And, and 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 I also feel like they don't know how to do what we do. You know what I'm saying? They sure don't. And they need to learn how to do what we do so that they can figure out what they need to do. You know what I mean? And I feel like our our generation, our last couple of A-list niggas, the Nas's, the Jay Z's, the DMX's, you know what I'm saying? They were, they were the way Quans and yeah, we there was a time frame when we all had our classic albums out together, right. and when we had our albums out together, we dictated what radio was doing, we right. dictated what MTV was doing, we dictated what BET was doing, and at that time it also was that thing that gave the significant influence to what the new dudes needed to do. We ain't. We ain't positioning ourselves like that no more. So these little dudes, they ain't really got the proper examples to follow. You might get a Jay-Z album right now, and nobody else should be out at the same time. Then when the Busta Rhymes come, nobody else should be out at the same time. I remember when Jay-Z and Dog DMX was out together. Rockefeller and Rough Rider was touring together. Then Rock, Rockefeller and Cash Money was touring together. Right. Then, then, then 50 Cent, what's good, boss? The 50 Cent, Busta Rhymes, Jay-Z was on Rock the Mic tour in 2003 right. together. Right. You know what I'm saying? When we had them kind of influences and guidances going on, them new dudes knew what to, what to, what to be like, what to copy after. And we just need to reinstate that. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Nas, put your album out with me. Jay-Z, put your album out with me. DMX, put your album out with me. Let's headline a tour. Let's flood it out. Let's flood the marketplace out so these little niggas know they got to be like listen, the great shit. And listen, just to be clear, like, I'm seeing what's happening. I'm not disrespecting any music because I actually enjoy a lot of these songs. That Likewise. I, I am playing. Very, very, whatever, great music. But, 
you know, I'm looking at the sales, you know, you might be selling a hell of a, you know, ringtones, but then there's no second single, no, and no third album is single, trash, the and album is trash, the album is suspect. Yeah, you know why so, though? You know why though? Because a lot of these new artists, they're not thinking about being package artists. Chuck D taught me some shit in 89. When I was 17, he was like, yo, bus, you gotta have a clamp on the game. And that shit is an acronym. Each letter means something. Concept, lyrics, attitude, appearance, music, and performance. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't got all of that, you ain't no real well-rounded package artist. You can have your hit record and be a ringtone motherfucker, but then your ringtone pop off, your album come out do 30,000 in the first week, right? Now, I ain't saying that you can't bounce back from that. Sometimes it happens. Akon's first album, he did like 35,000. His first week, he ended up selling 2 million on his first project. He grinded. By the third, out, by the, by the third single, he, he was out of here. Out of here, but he had records, and he wasn't basing his shit on the success of a ringtone. And I feel like artists need to know it ain't about a ringtone. It's about making a quality album. It's about having an incredible performance. It's about figuring it, figuring out how you need to look when you make your appearance, how you light up a room without even opening your mouth, your wardrobe, your swag, your whole glow, your persona, you know what I mean? Your lyrics, your concepts. Everything just needs to, the dots need to connect. Them stars need to align. And I just feel like that shit is important. And a lot of the times, dudes ain't really being given that guidance or that influence or that teaching. And I ain't even wanting to be trying to teach. I ain't want to preach. And I ain't into that. But I just I just like giving people real talk. I just think nah. it's just something that you can only gain from, the shit That's that I'm it. sharing. That and is. if you take a little piece of it and apply it to your own shit, you know what I mean? I don't need a kickback, even though it would be nice to have all these <laughs> niggas give me some bread for how I'm giving you some motherfucking blueprint on how to secure the win. You know, I ain't here for that. I'm just here to help the game continue to maintain its integrity because the game been good to me. I ain't never, I never had to look for a job. I ain't never had to tell my mother to go back to work ever since I was able to tell her quit a job. My moms, my family, my niggas that been rocking with me ain't never needed shit because we maintain the integrity of the good, real, traditional, filthy under the nail, underground, oh. dirt hip-hop shit. You know what I miss you, though? What you I miss? I you behind a camera, man. I'm back I on need, that screen. Hold on. Hold on. Let me I plug need, that. Need, Let me plug that. Doing, I just did a film with my man, Amon Asante. All right. Tom Berenger. Okay. You know Amon Asante? He was in the motherfucking uh, American Gangster yes, shit. Yes. Busting them things in the backyard with Denzel Washington. Yes. Me, him, Tom Berenger, we did a movie. It's called Order Redemption. It's scheduled for a third, fourth quarter release this year. Look forward to that. And there's a whole lot more shit in store. I'm actually uh, producing a reality series. It's called Road Dogs. It's about tour bus drivers and their perspective on what they got to go through getting celebrities around the country to their gigs on time. Stay tuned for that shit. Stay tuned for the Flip Mode album on Flip Mode Geffen Records. Stay tuned for the Chauncey Black, formerly a Black Street solo album on Flip Mode Geffen. Chauncey Black. Yeah, Chauncey, Chauncey Black. Up, you know Kanye West just finished talking about him on that last success. Yeah. You know, look forward to that. We got, hi, sweetie. Hi, uh, yeah, hi. Yeah, come on, come give me some love. See, look at that. Busta do love the ladies, y'all. Uh, See, Busta does love the ladies. Go ahead, you good? Okay. That's what's up, man. Thank you, man. All right. Show. Yeah, we can do that. See, I like that. This See, look. See, look. This is where everybody say that Buster don't give interviews. Buster don't give, you know, hugs and kisses. Buster don't sign autographs. Now I don't do you know it for I mean? those who come and approach me with that fucked up attitude. Yeah, I saw that clip. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, you see the shit over the I saw that. Right? Yeah, yeah. I needed to take a shit, and the fans just would not really consider that at the end of the day, we humans first, my nigga. Like, we celebrities, cool, we don't ask for... Yo, Buster was going to the pussy. I just wanted to go take a shit, B. And they was like, you ignorant something? He's like, I'm ignorant. I'm ignorant. <laughs> Fuck you talking about, man? <laughs> now, don't, don't bring me back. <laughs> nah, but it's real, man. Yeah. Principles, respect, just just sim simple human ethics. Like, just, just let's live by that. It ain't just a one-way street, it's a two-way street. You yeah, show love, you get is. love. It's yeah, real yeah. easy, Yo, man. Boss, we talked about so much. I'm, I'm going to let you go, man, for yeah. real. I love I, you. I want you, I want you to have fun and enjoy you being back in New York. Thank you. you uh, you're good, you won your court cases, all that. Thank Just you. have fun, enjoy it, man. The name of the new album is Blessed. Blessed. I'm blessed. I got a lot to give thanks for. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that been rocking with me for the last 17, 18 years, gratefully appreciate your love and support. I ain't got nothing but greatness to continue to contribute. You know what I mean? Please love the kid, because I love y'all.